Welcome to DMOP Garage. We are back on the 52 barn door ambulance. Come and check it out. For you guys that don't know what this thing is, it is the and we are doing a semi restoration on it. The outside was already painted when I got it, but we're doing the inside as you can see in here. This thing's getting ready for some paint. And then we're gonna get into the back here. We've got to get stuck into that as well. Now off camera, I've just been getting this prepared. I've got to mask up the window and then we can actually shoot the cream color, which we have got in the house. So we've got the paint down there and we're getting ready to give this some color. Now on the back, I did actually do this off camera as well. And I'll just show you here, when you open this back lid, tailgate, now this section here, which is completely rotten, just plywood with a little bit of vinyl on top of it. That was obviously mounted in this section here. You can see it's 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 rough, it's got a little bit of paint. There's a, there was a little bit of surface rust here, we just gotta take care of. But we're gonna get a new piece of ply to put in here and another piece of vinyl, and we're gonna get that for the floor as well. So that's just, and I tell you, it's a bloody heavy door too. Uh, you really wanna hope these chains do the job. <laughs> Anyway, that's that. That's the rear. We probably will have to play around with the the barrel on the key as well, because I'm not sure whether the ones that we've got coming are going to be the same code. So we can have a play around with that as well. Yeah, all happening. So let's start masking up this window, and we can get ready for paint. Okay, we have this thing ready. I've taken the doors off just because I figured, well, it'll be a little bit easier to get in and out and paint this thing, but you know, just masked up um, around here. And yeah, window's done. Everything else is good and ready inside here. Got all the holes plugged up. So yeah, we're good to go. Now I'm gonna paint it outside because I think if I do it in here, it's just <laughs> overspray's gonna go over everything. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, so. Let's open the uh, roller door and uh, wheel her out and get her painted. All right, let's get into it. Yoo. Okay, let's have a look and see. <laughs> I tell you, it's a cold day, and you can tell it's a cold day because I've got runs. There's one there. There's 
one there, one there, that's three. Let's see if we can see any more. Any more runs? It was actually quite difficult to see what I was doing, I tell you. Yeah, I don't think I missed any spots. Yes, I have missed a spot. I can see it over there in that little corner. I'll have to quickly go and get the touch up. Oh, and over there too. Yeah, missed a couple of spots. All right, we'll quickly, we might just mix up the mini gun quickly and fix those little spots. But three runs, eh, that's not too bad, I suppose, considering it still looks pretty good. Check this side here out. Yeah, this looks pretty good here. That little bit of junk there. But you know what, look, all of this is getting covered, so I'm probably being a little bit hard on myself. Oh, there's a nice big run right there. That's okay. Not bad. The rest of it's pretty good. All right, we'll mix up a tiny little bit in the touch-up gun and just hit those spots that I missed. Okay, so we got those little spots touched up. They're all done. Tried to get rid of a few of the drips as well. Nothing too major. There was a couple up there, but I managed to paint them out with a little paintbrush. All right, we're going to put the heater on just to get this thing to warm up a little bit in here. And then... In the next couple of days, we can take all the masking tape off. We, oh, yeah, we've got to paint the pod. That's right. Get the pod done, and then it's going to be getting onto the rest of it, I suppose. Two hours later. So we got a couple of little items put in. I just got this painted up, a uh, little cap there, and put the brake and clutch pedal in. So they're done, and the accelerator pedal, that's done too. I need to get a spring for that one, so that's still not... 100% and then obviously this isn't tied in. I'm going to wait for the steering column after we do all the electric. So the next thing we need to do now is get the pod painted. So we're going to get this prepared. It's actually quite a nice day, so I might just hang it outside there and spray it. And uh, yeah, get one more part painted. Let's get it done. Okay, we are done. That came out pretty nice. No issues. Go and pop him inside and we'll just dangle him here. I've been doing a couple of other parts. That's the, the foot stand for the passenger side. Got that painted. Also painted the shift rod that's hanging there. The steering column bracket that's hanging there. <laughs> what else have I got hanging around the place? Oh, more shifter parts over there. There's parts hanging all over the place. And I've also painted the handbrake lever. Put some plastic down and just spray it around it. I wasn't going to take it out because that's a nightmare job. All right, let's keep going. Well, fast forward, it's the next day. I've done a few things off camera. I'll just show you. I painted the back side of the rims. You can see over there in black because I found out that that is what they were. So factory black on the back. I'm going to have to reshoot the front side of it because the, the cream color I used was old paint, which was not quite the right color. It was a little bit too light. It's very hard to, to notice it, but yeah, it, if you put it up against this, this is a lot creamer. So all I'm going to do is wait for the black to dry. I'll scuff uh, just this, just the front surface here and just reshoot that in, in the in the cream again. And what that will do then is it will actually throw cream overspray back onto the backside onto the black. And that's exactly how they were from the factory. I saw a, a repo Wolfberg West rim and it was like that. And I was thinking, what the hell's going on? Why have they? <laughs> I thought it was just some shonky dude in the factory not painting properly, but apparently that's how they were painted uh, back in the day. So yeah, we'll let these dry and then I'll scuff up the front surface and just hit them with the correct uh, colour. Uh, oh, that's just a seat attachment part which has to be done in cream too. Uh, I'll show you where that goes later. Now, one other problem we've got is this quarter panel here from here down up to this seam line across and here. You probably can't tell on camera, but it's the wrong colour. This is a lot darker and this is light. Now, I reckon what's happened is this thing got probably smashed in a factory somewhere and it had a bit of an impact here because this part here is not, <laughs> it's not very good. If you can see there's a big dent here and here. If you run your hand over it, it's terrible. So I'm going to have to work on this and then I'm going to just respray this little section in the correct color. You might be able to pick it up here that there's two different colors on this seam line. Probably more evident just here. As soon as I put it out in the light and I saw it, I'm like, nah, that ain't gonna fly. I've gotta fix that. So we'll just scotch bright this back. I, I will have to do a little bit of 
work on this thing here because it it just feels it's just not right at all it's got really bad bumps in it you might be able to pick them up in the shadows there that it's got dints and lumps in it shoddy workmanship unfortunately that we've got to uh, fix now inside the cabin here you can see uh, she's starting to come together I've got just test fitted the few of the parts the the shifter that's done the gauge pod here I've started to put all the a couple of switches and stuff on that and then we can start to work on the electrical side of it which yeah look that, that's probably going to be quite a bit of work because there's going to have to be a lot of rewiring to be done but you know at least this part is getting done and then we can start probably put, uh, getting into the rear too so i've got to go and get some plywood from the local hardware store and deck the floor in plywood and then put the gray vinyl on top of that and then also buy a whole heap of mdf sheeting for the door card now we have all the original door cards up there uh, but they're all pretty bad condition i don't think they're usable so we'll probably just take templates off those and then go from there so that's the update so far yeah let's continue okay so one of the next things we have to do is look at the steering wheel and the horn unfortunately the horn has a dirty great big crack in it there and a whopping big crack across there that piece there has been repaired before and it's literally dangling by a thread so i've got to be very careful let's get that repaired and then we're going to attempt to i don't know i'm going to try and experiment i've got some old baker light and i was thinking of making the baker light like grinding it up into a powder and then mixing that with some epoxy and putting it into the crack and just see if we can blend the crack out and get rid of it see how we go but anyway that needs to be restored and obviously the steering wheel steering wheel is in really good condition I, I think the outside this i'm just going to sand very lightly and polish it up and the these guys here i'll just sand those back and repaint those and obviously the hub the hub as well it's a bit knackered and we'll just give that a clean up as well let's just start with that because that's probably going to take a couple of days to dry let's get the dremel and uh prepare the surface for gluing okay so we're just using a bit of araldite i thought i'd do some araldite first just on the inside here and we're just going to goop that in there without hair would be nice and then same thing with this crack here it's only five minute aral diet i just thought we'll try we'll put this in first and then we can attack the the front side of it once this dries and it'll dry a lot quicker obviously so i don't have to wait around so long so i think that'll probably do for now just enough to keep it in there and then we'll attack the other side all right let that dry we'll move on to doing some sanding on the steering wheel okay a few minutes later <laughs> I decided just to stick the middle part into the blaster and get the paint off it that way it's a lot easier than hand sanding it and of course i just taped up the outside rim so no sand got on that or glass i should say i suppose we can actually just tape up the wheel itself now and shoot this in black gloss epoxy yeah i suppose we can because it's a self-priming one that i've got okay let's get this prepared for paint okay so i've got my trusty pull cue <laughs> i use this for painting steering wheels because it's just easy to grab onto you just put a bit of tape there like that so you can put it upside down paint this side rotate it as you're going and then i've just got a little hole up the end there and i can hook it and just hang the steering wheel when uh, it's ready to dry so what i'm going to do i just change a bit of a change of plan the outside i suppose ring of the steering wheel is in insane condition i mean it, i can't believe the age of this what i'm going to do is just put a clear coat over it i'm not going to paint it black but i've got a, a an adhesion promoter which is this stuff here the grip four and I'm just going to spray that on on the steering wheel and leave it for about 10 minutes and then spray a gloss clear just on the black section wait for that to dry then come back in and paint the inner triangle uh tri thing in the gloss black and then call it good so yeah we'll go with that plan uh, I think the adhesion promoter is just going to make sure it sticks properly to the outside of this thing so it has been sanded I had wax and grease removed it as well a few moments later okay so we're going to do a little bit of repair crack experiment here what i've got is in there is some bakelite powder which i've ground off another steering wheel down there which is really quite bad <laughs> but what we're going to do we've got a couple of really tiny cracks they're very hard to see but there's a tiny little weenie one there uh, a tiny weeny one just there no that one's good yeah so it's really just those two there and I figured might as well just mix a bit of this powder, Bakelite powder, up with some clear epoxy and just put it into the crack and see what happens. See, it might blend it in. I don't know. I've never tried it before, but let's give it a crack. What do you think? 
Good idea? Maybe not? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay, so we'll put, put a little bit of glue out. Don't need a lot. And we're gonna get a bit of this powder, mix it up. Now, I don't know how much is too much, but both the more the merrier, right? You probably want it the right colour. Well, let's try it out. They're very small. We can just give that a sand back. Where's the other one over here? Yep, there's one just there. I mean, colour-wise it looks good. Whether or not it'll, once it's sanded, whether it'll do its... Just trying to push it into the crack. I haven't really opened it up. I haven't V-prepped it or anything like that, but I figure it's just an experiment, just to see what's going to happen. Probably won't work because I suppose with with temperature it will expand and contract and then, you know, it cracks again. But, you know what, look for, for a roadworthy to make it look nice and pretty for people. Why not? I think that's all we need to do. Alright, we'll let this dry and come back and give it a sand and go from there, see if this experiment works. But that's what it looks like, which you just get... Oh, actually... You know what, now that we've got this mixed up, we can use, we can do the pop as well, the horn button. Because this is exactly what I was going to use for the horn button. It will be very interesting to see how this looks when it dries. Alright, I think we'll let that dry and we can come back to it. I actually did find another one of these uh, buttons for sale and it was only $700. <laughs> And I'm like, hmm, yeah, I'll take five of those, please. Let's just leave that here and let that dry and see what happens. 2,000 years later. Okay, so these things are going to take a couple of days. They're just, you know, I've left it probably two hours and they're still a bit spongy. So we're not going to be able to continue with this until a couple more days, but that's okay. We can change our focus over to the side step on the ambulance. Now this thing here needs sandblast and a paint, so we're gonna see. I think it does fit in there. We'll shove it in and see if we can just sandblast the pipe because it def definitely needs it. Let's just give this thing a quick blast and a repaint and make it look new again. Okay, out of the sandblaster and we just got a bit of phosphoric acid here, so I've just been painting the little bits that were a little bit on the surface rusty side. Most of, most of it's pretty good. Let's get in here. We'll let that dry off. And then we can uh, hit it with, well, we've got to tape up the rubber here. Yeah, you can see here, I've got to get some glue under that because it's actually popping up a bit. I reckon I can probably just lift it up. Oh yeah, there we go. Just go underneath, put some contact adhesive on that. Glue it back down. Mask up obviously the rubber and this aluminium trim. And then we can paint the rest of it black. All good. All right. I think we'll let that dry overnight. Then we can mask up the rest of it. Get that frame part painted in black. And call it good after that I suppose. Nico's uh, question of the day. Let's see who can answer this one. When did the split screen combis go from a small back window to the larger one? What year? Put it in the comments below. I want to see who can get this one right. All right, we'll see you in the next one, guys. You.